Okay, this is a 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander SE with uh, four-wheel drive, or they call it all-wheel control. And as we can see, the ambient magnetic field out here is uh, 0.1, or just under that. So this is what it should be. And we're going to take a look at the magnetic field in the driver's seat. Okay. Okay, so at the seat level, we're looking at 0.3. This is very good, very low. Up by the head, the headrest, also, um, actually it's a little bit lower, 0. 0.15. Okay. By the side of the seat, it goes up um, to 0. 0.75. Um, down here, so I did notice there is a hot spot on the left hand side there. As you can see, it's getting close to 8. And then we put it on the floor. It's at 4. Now, when the car is in motion, I did look at it briefly and it did sometimes get up to 6 or 7, 8. So, even like at this level, okay. Right there. So, then again, this is at rest. So, point, uh, 4.2. Yeah, it's getting close to 10 there on the sidebar. So, yeah, there's definitely a, a left side hot spot in this vehicle. So, looking at about 3 there. Now, I did have the G-iron here, so let me move that out of the way. That would not have affected those readings much. Um, actually, it's 3.67. So it looks like the G-iron actually did reflect back some of the magnetic field and it, it did increase it on the left-hand side a little bit from what I can tell. But we're still looking at a left side hotspot of 4 to 10. Now when we look over here, 1.6, okay, and 0.3. On the foot pedal, 2.5. In the steering column, looking at about 0.9. So where you put your hands, 0.86. Okay, console, 0.5. So yeah, so it's definitely a left side imbalance. Um, yeah. Now I have smaller pieces of G iron, but let me just see what would happen if we did that. And you can see with the G-iron there, it actually went down to 2.1. So, that would be the way to, if I owned this car, yeah, I would just install the G-iron on the left-hand side. All right.